Hello, perhaps you're new to Minecraft this year. Uh, I know that Bedrock came out on PS4 recently, and many of you probably got um, the game for Christmas, maybe on a Nintendo Switch or on an Xbox. And so I'm here to show you how it works. So my name is Peter, I'm a part of The Basement, and we are the friendliest place on YouTube. Uh, here on the Minecraft Start screen, you're going to want to select Play and create new. We're going to create a new world. We're not worried about templates or other things. We're just going to create a new world here. I am playing on a Nintendo Switch, if anyone is curious. Now, if you want to follow along, uh, you're going to want survival mode. I'm choosing hard difficulty, uh, but you can choose peaceful or easy or normal, if you'd like. Um, I opt out of the starting map and the bonus chest. You feel free to include them if you'd like. And also, I like to show coordinates at all times and turn off fire spread. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, the last thing to do is to type in our seed. We're not going to go for a random seed because I want you guys to be able to follow along. So what we're going to call this seed is The Basement because this channel is The Basement and we are the friendliest place on YouTube. Uh, my partner Ted and I make videos and those come out uh, six days a week. And Ted streams on Saturday nights, usually, and I have a solo video on Sundays, usually. And this is a bit of an unusual thing, but I figure a lot of people are going to get Minecraft for Christmas this year. Um, or maybe new to Bedrock, if they're PS4 owners. Um, so yeah, uh, I like this game. I learned on console, on Wii U, actually, uh, PS3. Um, but I got a Switch, and I've played Console Edition on that, and Bedrock Edition on that, and uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get started here, and um, I'm gonna show you how the game works a bit. So where we are here, there's some ice over there. There's a lot of water around, some sand, and then birch trees and oak trees and dark oak trees. That's dark oak. That white one right there is birch, and then that brownish tan one in the middle there is oak. So we're gonna start by using our action button for me on the Nintendo Switch with my settings it's ZR that's the trigger under your right hand and I'm just gonna hold that button down I'm not gonna press it repeatedly or tap it but I'm gonna hold it down and that will sort of hack away at the blocks beneath me I spawned in on top of uh, a tree uh, also if you want to be able to see the character uh, there's the back of her there's the front of her hello and I'm doing that by pressing the top button on sort of the D-pad in the left Joy-Con there. Okay, so we need to... Oh, look, a giant mushroom. Uh, we need to find a place to stay. Um, and what I generally like to do is after punching a tree... Um, oh, look, it's a zombie. Okay, so normally zombies don't come out until the first night. But again, you can use your action button here. And I recommend... Oh, I'm dead. Look at that. Well, now I can show you what happens when you die. Uh, when you die, you respawn where you were before. Or close to it. Uh, your original world spawn. Okay, there's our red... Let's get some more wood here. There's our red mushroom. And uh, it doesn't matter if I'm using a stick or I'm using my fist. They both will break these blocks at the same speed. Once we get our hands on some proper uh, weapons and tools, we'll be able to do these chores more quickly. One more block here. Okay, so we're up to six wood. Now, that didn't really cost us anything other than the wood we were carrying. And look, there it is. And here's the zombie that was attacking us. Let's get our revenge on him. Now, the reason I have a stick in my inventory is that tree leaves will randomly drop a stick. And he did not drop his shovel, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, where are we here? I did take a look at this seed. Oh, there's some more zombie flesh. That one must have died in the sun. Or maybe we killed it before we died, I don't know. I did take a look at the seed. Oh, it's a sheep. I took a look at the seed before um, getting started. And I think what we're gonna do Oh, it's actually a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to make our first home right here. So now that we have some wood, we're going to take... These are called logs, okay, and they're birch logs. We're going to put half of them in here, and I picked up half with the Y button. And I'm going to craft them by using the A button here. And uh, 
each log will make four planks. Now, if you have four planks, and I'm holding Y to distribute these here, you can draw a square like this and create a crafting table. Crafting table, boom, can get set down, and now pressing the ZL button to access that will give you a three by three grafting grid. What this allows us to do is uh, make some sticks. Uh, let's make 16 of those. And then we can draw things that we want to have. So here's a very uh, crude drawing of a pickaxe, a wooden pickaxe. So I'll press the X button to craft that there, and then I'll use the L button to move in my hotbar down here. And then you can see we have access to uh, different things on the hotbar to dig in to the land here. Okay, so um, breaking stone with your fist takes a very long time, and it doesn't drop any stone. But if you use a wooden pickaxe, you can see it breaks much faster and you get a cobblestone block that's dropped and floating there that you can then pick up and use for things. So we're gonna pick these up. The picking up is automatic, by the way. And we're going to graph, uh, craft a stone pickaxe. Boom, right away, all right? So now we're playing with power, super power. The stone pickaxe is stronger than the wooden pickaxe. It will last longer and it will dig faster and uh, it's just all around a better tool in general. So what we're doing here is we're not only gathering stone, but we're also hollowing out a place for us to live um, once the sun goes down, because when the sun goes down, we will not want to be caught unawares. So in addition to the stone um, pickaxe, we can also make a stone sword. You can see the crafting recipe on the right there. This is a quick one using the recipe book though. So we want a sword, we want an ax, we want a shovel, and we want a hoe. Those are the five basic tools. Now if I use my X button and my right D-pad button, I can get those out of my inventory and then set them up like this. Sword, uh, pickaxe, shovel, ax, and hoe. And uh, the hoe is for farming, but it is also actually quite important because uh, food is an issue in Minecraft and we're going to need to make sure that we have a source of food. So what I'm happy about right now is that we've got a place to stay. Using the shovel, you may notice that I dug up that dirt quicker than I would have. Oh no! What is this? This is a baby drowned zombie. We're going to use our stone sword on him. He, you notice he catches fire when he's out of the water because the sunlight burns him. And there we go. Our first enemy defeated. Um, all right, now, uh, if we have enough cobblestone, and we do, eight of them will make us a furnace. So let's go ahead and make a furnace. And we will remove these blocks and set our furnace into the wall right there. Now, you can burn three logs with just two planks. And that is a very uh, inefficient way to gain charcoal. Um, but in the beginning of the game, if you don't have access to any coal, you're going to want to make some charcoal so that you can make torches, so that you have a source of light once it gets dark out. Because when the sun goes down, this game is mercilessly dark and you will be quite lost. Now what I'm doing now is addressing the food situation. I'm uh, using the ZL button on the Nintendo Switch to punch uh, these little tufts of grass in the hopes that they will drop seeds. Uh, some of them drop seeds, many of them don't. You can see we're up to four seeds, which is a good thing. I would love to get at least eight. Now we have five. Come on, seeds. There's six and seven. One more here. There's eight. Okay. Uh, now, if I double tap the joystick forward, I will run. However, that's not always an awesome idea because uh, running uses up your hunger, which is dictated by those little drumsticks uh, in the bottom of the screen on the right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the hoe to till the land here, and the land will get moist up to four blocks away from a source of water like this, which is why I dug it out for and now we're gonna see if our charcoal is done, and I believe it is. We're gonna grab that, okay, and put that there. And we're gonna grab our sticks and put them here, because that's where I like to put them. Now, using our two by two crafting uh, screen, which we do not need a crafting table for, we're gonna craft 
eight torches. Each stick and coal will make four torches, and I like to keep one here and a bunch here, um, taking up two spots in my inventory. Now I'm gonna stick a torch next to these crops and a torch next to these crops so that when the sun does go down, our crops will continue to grow. And that's a decent little start to a farm. Um, we may as well know that another row of seeds eventually will go here and here. And the reason I plant every other row is because having moist soil on either side uh, does help crops to grow faster. And we're more interested in speed than efficiency right now. Uh, okay, let's let's use our axe to chop down this big fella because it's right in our way. This is a dark oak tree. It grows thicker than uh, oak or birch trees. As you can see, it's kind of a two by two instead of just a single trunk. And what I like to do is I like to take these little side branches out first. It's a cool design, but um, after we do that, then I use my axe and chop one, two, three up and then jump. Uh, jump is the B button, by the way. Jump up and turn left and then do the next three and then jump up and turn left and do the next three. And what this allows us to do is kind of spiral staircase up the trunk of the tree. It's usually not necessary for dark oak trees because they're not very tall and you can generally reach all the blocks standing on the ground. But for other trees that we will discover later in the game uh, that grow this thick but much taller is a very convenient way to chop those trees down. All right, now the sun is setting that's the west, and we uh, need to get inside to be safe here. So we're going to stick a torch in the back of our um, little shelter here, and we're going to put, I don't like these right here, we're going to put some of these dark oak logs here. Rather than making planks in our crafting table like I showed you before, we're going to do it this way. Um, because I think it looks better and it's not just about survival, but it's also about looks and speaking of looks You see how those are sideways and those are vertical We want them sideways because then it looks like there's a log resting on top of two pillars Which just makes a lot more sense than if these were vertical and this one was just floating. Okay, let's stick a couple of torches here There's a sheep And uh, Oh, let's grab our crafting table because it is now nighttime and we are in danger so we need um, we need some space for that I'm gonna move some of these out of the hot bar and this down into it so I can place it and uh, using um, since we don't have any oak yet we've got birch and we've got dark oak so let's make birch doors with that pattern I'm gonna set a door right here and then that will keep bad guys out. How nice is that? Oh, here's a dark oak sapling. It's falling from the leaves of the tree that I chopped down. And uh, we can use those to plant more dark oak trees in the future. So that wood is a renewable resource. Now it is nighttime and I'm getting scared. So I'm going to head inside. And if we had a bed, we can sleep in it and make it day. But we don't. So instead, what we're going to do, we don't have any meat to cook either. So our charcoal would probably best be used to make torches. So what we're going to do is, uh, whoops, we don't make torches like that. We craft them. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do it by selecting this here. That gives us four more. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to use this back corner here. And now that it's nighttime and there's bad guys outside and we don't have any armor and our weapons are only stone or stone sword, which is not great. We're going to dig down three at a time, kind of similar to harvesting the dark oak tree. And what this does is this creates a staircase down into the earth that we can hop up to get back to our uh, safe little hole here where we're safe from all the scary things out in the night. Ooh, there's a drowned. You see him? I hear a spider as well. Um, and see if there are any good things under the earth. Um, we created charcoal by burning some logs with some planks, but 
you can discover coal ore underground and then harvest that uh, to have more coal to use. And that is generally the more efficient and better way to do it, especially early game, unless you have some sort of automated tree farm, which is an advanced technique. Uh, this is going to be the way to get your hands on coal. And speaking of coal, there's some is right there. That's what coal ore looks like. We're going to harvest that. And look, there's some more hiding behind it. So let's sort of clear some of these out and we'll grab this. And this will allow us to make a lot of torches. It will also allow us to cook things in the furnace. Coal is an excellent fuel source in a furnace. One piece of coal will smelt eight items. So you could cook eight pieces of meat if you were to say kill some chickens or some sheep or some cows. Uh, you can use the coal to cook that meat or you can also um, put other certain kinds of ore into the furnace and use the coal to smelt those. Um, and if you really are new to Minecraft, totally, and you don't know these things, then I will try not to spoil it before we do it, but that's a that's a very exciting thing for you. I'm jealous. Uh, getting to be new to Minecraft is something that a person can only do once unless they suffer some sort of amnesia. Now, you have to watch out when you're digging down because you might come across something like this which is just a drop. Now, if I click down on my right joystick, or I believe the A button also does it, you can crouch, and how that looks is, uh, whoops, whoops, I fell. Uh, okay, well, never mind about that for now. What we're gonna do is try to get out of here. Okay, here we go. So, I'm gonna place blocks beneath me by using the ZL button. Uh. I have to get a little creative to get out here. Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, if you crouch, you can go right to the edge of a block without falling off. You can even keep pushing the direction and you won't fall off. Only if you jump will the game allow you to exit the boundaries of that one block. And look, our, our pickaxe has almost died. So I'm gonna show you guys a trick here. Um, let's go ahead and close this off. So we aren't fooled by it and we'll head up here to the surface and we're going to make uh, a new stone pickaxe and um, get using that and then later we can combine them. It is still nighttime, so I'm going to make a new pickaxe and uh, join me in the next video for some more mining and uh, some more tips and I hope you guys are having fun and I'll see you all soon. Bye.